morning guys and welcome back to the channel over the past few months i've been quite a lucky boy i've been able to show you all four helm dive watch models on this channel thanks to viewers who decided in the end that they didn't want to buy the watches having probably been on the waiting lists for many many years i've been relatively impressed with helm watches i think they're quite nicely made interesting to look at original in design and the main downside being um, they're not available to buy immediately. You've got to go onto a wait list and some of those wait lists are massive. So with that in mind, I thought I'd look back through all of the micro brand divers that I've reviewed over the last couple of years from around 15 brands. There's been around 35 micro brand dive watches um, to pick from and I've made a list of my top five watches. So if you're interested in picking up a helm, maybe consider subscribing to this channel and taking part in my giveaway or consider buying one of these five awesome micro brand divers that you can actually buy right now. Right, let's kick things off then with number five, which is the Phoebus Eagle Ray. And these five watches are in order, so I will be finishing off with my absolute top pick. Now, unfortunately, this watch has sold out for European customers because Phoebus have the PhoebusWatch.com website and the Phoebus Watch europe.com website so um, this watch is only available in this particular color version on the global website so for european customers i think the next best phoebus is this um, voyager and again um, most of them have sold out the only one available is this black dial with gold accents version so this is my second favorite phoebus but my absolute favorite is the um, eagle ray a compressor style dive watch um, yeah, I was really, really impressed with this one. Let me just quickly run through some basic specifications. 360 US dollars, NH35, 200 meters of water resistance, uh, 41 millimeters in diameter. It's quite thick, actually, for a 200 meter diver, 14.4 millimeters, 158 grams, sapphire crystal, double domed, um, blue AR coating, and an internal rotating bezel, and um, the loom is blue BGW9. Um, yeah, reasonable value for money. At $360. Now for fourth spot, I picked the Wise Hitman. I reviewed this Hit09 black dial burgundy bezel insert, a really pretty, almost dressier dive watch. It's not too tallish. You could wear this one, you know, every day. It's a fairly unoffensive dive watch. I remember the steel finishing was really, really good. Bezel alignment was perfect. Bezel action was really, really nice. Um, just a really good all-round dive watch. Um, yeah, let me run through some of the specifications. 330 US dollars, NH35, 200 meters of water resistance, 41 millimeters in diameter, 12.3 millimeters thick, so quite a bit flatter than the Phoebus watches. In fact, it's one of the flattest watches I'm going to show you in today's um, video. Fantastic weight, 148 grams, flat sapphire crystal with blue AR coating, ceramic bezel insert and um, yeah decent blue bgw9 and um, there wasn't too much to dislike about this watch it was a fairly unoffensive good looking um, dive watch it impressed me greatly right in third place i selected this rlg odyssey diver i reviewed this fume green dial version which is available today for 429 us dollars if i've got any discount codes for these watches i'll put them in the video description i was really really impressed with this watch i actually produced two videos an unboxing and a full review and um, yeah, the finishing on this watch is probably the best out of all the watches I'm going to feature in this video. It's one of the more expensive watches as well because it features the Miyota 9039 higher beat automatic movement. But it is just, well, it feels like a more premium dive watch than pretty much every other diver that I'm going to show you in today's video. It's got a classy sort of brushed and polished stainless steel bracelet. It also has a sapphire crystal bezel insert. So it's definitely a more dressy watch. Let me run through some of the basics. So yeah, this one comes with the Miyota 9039, which is a dateless automatic movement. So no ghost position on the crown because there's no date complication on the dial. 200 meters of water resistance, 39 millimeters in diameter. So it is a slightly smaller and lighter dive watch when compared to some of the others, 13.2 millimeters thick, 139 grams when set up for my roughly average sized wrist, double domed sapphire crystal with clear AR coating, sapphire bezel insert and C3 loom. Yeah, a beautiful dive watch. 
Now, just missing out on top spot, I have selected the Hootman Pilbara. I was sent the Jade and the Black Dial version to review for you guys. I ended up giving the Black Dial version away to a subscriber. Um, yeah, an incredible dive watch, this one. I think it looks fantastic. The build quality is amazing. Again, Miyota 9039 automatic movement like the previous watch. So you are going to expect to pay a little bit more for this watch. But yeah, I thought this watch, or I think this watch looks incredible. I was blown away by it. And um, the only reason it really missed out on top spot is because the watch I've picked for um, top spot is, well, probably better value for money. It's quite a bit cheaper than this one. Um, but yeah, really, really love this watch. Let me just run through some of the basic specs. So this one is £411. And if I've got any discount codes for these watches, again, I'll put them in the video description. Miyota 9039 automatic movement. So again, no ghost position with the crown. 200 meters of water resistance. 41.4 millimeters in diameter. Only 11.8 millimeters thick, including the crystal. A little bit heavier than the previous watch. 159 grams when set up for my wrist. Um, double domed sapphire crystal with blue AR coating. And a sort of frosted ceramic bezel insert. And um, yeah, really good loom on this one. Blue BGW9. Yeah, an incredible dive watch. But in terms of value for money, I just don't think the Hoopman could quite topple the Fortella Cambrian, which has to be one of the very best value for money watches I have ever seen. It's AliExpress money and the list of specifications is incredible. Very, very few weaknesses to this watch and they want 219 US dollars for this watch i strongly recommend you watch the review i was sent the fully loomed dial um, version and also the blue um, sunburst sort of fading dial version stunning watches one of the few weaknesses is it's a 300 meter diver it's a little bit deeper than the other watches and i think the safety latch and the outer shell to the class bit thin but that was literally it apart from that it was close to perfect um and yeah 219 dollars is unbelievable yeah let me just quickly run through the other specifications so this one is powered by the nh35 which is the main reason why it's quite a bit cheaper than the um, rlg odyssey and the hoopman pilbara it's a 300 meter diver which explains why it's quite thick it's 14.3 millimeters thick 40.1 millimeters in diameter it's only 151 grams so it's actually lighter than the Hoopman Pilbara when set up for my wrist flat sapphire crystal which is where they've probably saved a little bit of money because double domed crystal is quite expensive blue AR coating ceramic bezel insert and really good loom blue BGW9 um, they didn't skimp and save on the loom at all so um, for me, not only is it one of the best looking dive watches uh, by micro brand that I've ever seen, um, for me, it also represents the very best value for money. Now, I suspect there's quite a few people watching this video thinking, what about Zelos? Why weren't they on the list? I think Helm, Zelos and Phoebus are probably the three biggest and best known micro brand dive watch manufacturers out there. And I think Zelos probably did deserve to have a watch in this video um, the only problem is i've only reviewed two of their watches and they were both really big and chunky and thick and heavy and um yeah for me just not as comfortable as all the watches i've featured in this video so for me these were my top five out of all the watches i have reviewed um, but i'm always looking for suggestions guys so please let me know in the comments section if you know of any micro brand divers that can rival the five that I've suggested in this video. Yeah, let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to pick them up and hopefully um, add them to a video like this one day in the future. All right, guys, as always, massive thank you from me to you for watching. I do appreciate it.